Good morning everyone. This is the Livestock Products Market News. Let begin with the news of eggs. Special presentations on enriched eggs at Layer Feed QC. Consumers and the enriched egg will be one of the topics presented at Asian Agribus Layer Feed Quality Conferences in Jakarta, 16-17 October, and Ho Chi Minh City, 19-20 October. This will be presented by Dr. Vincent Guionet, an international consultant based in Canada. He will also speak on the value chain of the enriched egg and the advantages for the final consumer and prudent use of antibiotics by the layer sector, wishful thinking or reality. China's Huaying to Double Duck Slaughtering Capacity by 2020 Chinese duck processor Henan Huaying said it eyes an annual slaughtering capacity of 400 million birds by 2020, or about 10% of China's duck meat consumption. It currently has a slaughtering capacity of about 200 million birds, including over 100 million added in 2016 and this year with mergers and acquisitions. For 2017, its duck slaughtering is expected at about 80 million birds, and 30% will be processed into meat cuts for exports, with the remainder kept as carcasses for the domestic market, according to its board secretary Du Daofeng. Focusing on the duck value chain, our strategy is to promote an industry concentration with M and S, said Mr. Du. Indonesia sees decline in feeder cattle imports. Indonesia's feeder cattle imports this year is decreasing. According to Joni Liano, chairman of the Indonesian Beef Cattle Businessmen's Association, Gapaspindu, members are reducing imports from Australia. Firstly, the import ratio of 1,5, where for every 5 feeder cattle imported, importers must also import one breeder cow, is threatening our members. This policy is not effective since the importers are facing issues related to capital and technical aspects to raise the breeder cows, he told Asian Agribus. Secondly, Indian Cara beef imports is rendering stiff competition amid high Australian feeder cattle prices. Finally, Mr. Liano added that market segmentation between Cara beef and beef as expected by the government did not happen. Around 30% of beef sold in the market now are illegally mixed with Cara beef, he revealed. Sri Lanka CIC Group invests in new agri-technology. Sri Lanka CIC Group is elevating the nation's agriculture sector with investments amounting to over 13.1 million US dollars. CIC is the only seed-to-shelf agriculture company in Sri Lanka that manages its own farmland, working directly with over 40,000 rural outgrower farmers and producing a variety of agriculture and livestock products. The project is an international joint venture that employs state-of-the-art greenhouse technology and foresees increasing the productivity of corn farming in Sri Lanka. Cambodia to host forum to boost cassava sector. Cambodia will hold the cassava investment forum in Palin City in November to strengthen the development of value-added cassava products and promote the livelihood of cassava farmers, said a top provincial agriculture department official. The Khmer Times reported. The forum is expected to expand export markets and will showcase cassava and cassava starch as competitive quality products, said Say Safat, director of the Palin Provincial Agriculture Department. The forum is expected to attract more than 500 participants from farmers to cassava exporters, animal feed producers, investors, and government officials. The forum will also match cassava farmers with exporters so that the farmers get better prices, Mr. Safat said. Thank you for your attention, if you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to the latest newsletters. See you again.